guys and welcome to the next new video on Simon's World HD. Yes, I know, someone in the flesh, not just another video, but today's video is a special one. It's a guest video which uh, I talked to a good friend of mine about and he was happy enough to do it. It's about 13 minutes long, but I'm splitting it up into, uh, let's see, two parts. I could probably get uh, three out of it, but we'll see how this first part goes and um, see if you like it or not. I'm always up, open for guest videos if anyone else wants to do them as well. So, without further ado, without me babbling on again, and again, and again, and again, let's uh, get on the, to the uh, to the video and uh, watch it. So, uh, here it goes. See you next time. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Jack Knott. Uh, if you don't know me, uh, I run the JTP Films channel on YouTube. Um, I'm a good friend of uh, Simon's, uh, who has very kindly uh, given me the opportunity to guest host uh, on today's video. Um, and today I am going to be doing a little playthrough of possibly my favourite game of all time, Just Cause 2. Uh, let me just explain a little bit about this game, basically. It is all about a government agent called Rico, who has been sent to the island of Panau to try and overthrow an evil dictator. And he does so by causing widespread chaos across the whole island. He will literally destroy anything in sight. Um, and, your, and your mission is basically to, to cause as much destruction as humanly possible. So that's jolly well what I'm going to do now. Um, you can do such insane things with this game. You can do totally random stuff like just drive off the edge of a cliff. There goes the car I was just in. And down it goes. And we're just parachuting here. One of the key tools to this game is your parachute and also your grappling hook. Very important piece of machinery as we will discover later. Allows you to travel, I think, 50 meters in the space of a few seconds. Just generally a very useful thing to have. But of course, one of the most famous things about Just Cause 2 is probably the stunts. You can perform insane stunts with various different vehicles. So what we're going to do is uh, get an extraction, which is sort of like where you're transported across the map of the game. This is the map. I mean, it's huge. Absolutely huge. And... <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to Panau International Airport. Where we are going to do some crazy things with all the big uh, jumbo jet planes that are kind of just sat there just waiting to be to have chaos wreaked upon them, um, if that makes any sense whatsoever. So, we're going to drop in from the helicopter, and uh, it's going to be beautiful. Here we are, dropping down towards the airport. Now, the first thing I want to show you, uh, first little stunt that I want to show you, uh, it's relatively simple, I think... Uh, if you're not too familiar with this game, it's probably the best place to start if you want to do something totally wild and insane. What we have here is a very fast sports car. It's just casually parked in front of the airport. Um, and guess what we're going to do? Oh yes, we are going to steal it. So when we pop, I must warn you, this is a very fast car. Um, if you're not uh, familiar with driving cars, I would suggest that you uh, get some practice before tackling this little baby. Uh, because it is... Uh, it's 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 very fast. And I just drove into a wall. I flew into a wall, as you do. Um, okay, and here we go. We're just going to drive around. But yeah, it's very fast. The handling is uh, something to be desired, so just bear that in mind. The only real place where it's safe to drive is this huge open airfield. Uh, but what we're going to do is just drive it around here. I mean, look how wide that turning circle is. That's ridiculous. It really is. Um, so what we're going to do here is uh, have a bit of fun. 
Uh, just going to drive around here. Now, what you have here is... Oh, my goodness. A bit out of control. What we have here is a jumbo jet about to take off. We're going to tether the car to the jumbo jet. No! Oh, my goodness. What a spectacular... Turn we're, we're all right. We're safe. Get back in the car. No! Oh, the tethers come loose. Okay, we'll try this again. We'll drive back. Oh, look! Another plane. How convenient. So, what we're going to do is we're going to drive around. Let's try and get this right this time. Turn around. Here we go. So, you want to jump onto the roof of your car. Get the tow rope and attach it. Or the tether... Uh, the, 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 the... What's it called? And you're going to attach the car to the plane. Relatively simple to do. Um, you just want to make sure the car still moves along at the s roughly the same speed as the jet. Um, then you go along the runway. It's all very lovely. Um, if you haven't guessed what's going to happen next, I'll give you a little clue. Uh, this jumbo jet uh, is going out to the runway to perform the purpose of taking off, i.e. gaining quite a bit of altitude. Um, and, uh, well, there's a car attached to it right now, so uh, we can probably guess what's going to happen. We're getting dragged along the runway here, and uh, we're about to... Here we go, the plane takes off, and it takes you with it! Swing you around there. Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness! And then, uh, yeah, one of the things I should point out is when uh, two vehicles touch in Just Cause 2, they, they are going to explode, as just happened there. The plane has just exploded. I'm currently tethered to the wreckage, which is plummeting down into the ocean. Uh quite fast. Uh, here we go. I can see the water rapidly approaching. Here we go. About to hit the water. And in we go.